Welcome everybody, it's Captain D. Today we're taking a look at the Hold My Beer SR22 Turbo G6 for X-Plane 11, 4.1, and 5.0. This is a freeware aircraft made by um, Hold My Beer. That alone deserves its own video. I've spent a couple of days flying this plane and I have to say it is one of the best freeware aircraft out there right now. So we're going to take a look at it and go over some of the basic features and maybe take it off uh, the ground and do a little demo flight. Alright, here we have the aircraft in its complete cold and dark state with tie-downs, covers, and the, what they call the shield over the over the glass and the antennas. This is a custom paint job I did. Um, it's just kind of a rough draft. And then they updated the aircraft over the last couple of days so a couple of things don't line up. So you can see right here um, where a few things need to be fixed. But that's all cosmetic. Well, we'll go ahead and go inside the aircraft. And inside the aircraft you find this tablet. And this tablet pretty much controls almost everything on the plane. Um, weight and balance, this is where you remove all of your static elements. Oh, one thing I didn't show here, it has the engine preheater unit as well. And you can also add uh, weight, um, passengers, luggage, and fuel. We'll go ahead and turn on the avionics here. Comes with the Garmin G1000 avionics package. Um, a much better G1000 than the uh, default X-Plane one. We'll go ahead and you can also go in here to the battery and add um, a ground power unit. We're on the ground, we haven't started the engine yet, so we'll go ahead and just run off of ground power while we talk about the airplane. So the Cirrus SR-22 is a single engine, four or five seat composite aircraft built from starting in 2001. The development um, is, of course, everybody knows it comes from the SR-20, um, has larger weighing, higher fuel capacity and a more powerful 310 horsepower engine. The SR-22 series has been the world's best-selling general av aviation airplane every year since 2003 with 6,149 units delivered from 2001 to 2019. And in combination with the SR-20, a total of 7,645 aircraft have been delivered. It is among the most produced aircraft of the 21st century and is the single most produced general aviation aircraft made from composite material accounting for over 30% of the entire piston market share. Now 30% may not seem that much, but that is a lot of airplanes. There are a lot of Cirrus SR-22s flying around there. As most people know, the Cirrus SR-22 is equipped with a whole plane emergency recover recovery parachute system, the Cirrus Airframe Parachute System, also known as CAPS. This has contributed to the market success and has given it the name the plane that comes with its own parachute. The G6 model adds new LED wingtip lights and an upgraded Garmin avionics flight deck known as the Cirrus Perspective Plus with 10 times faster instrument processing speed and several other upgrades when we'll go over some of the other options when we, when we get there. The Hold My Beer SR-22 simulates the G6 version equipped with a G1000 and a Pseudo Perspective Plus program. As you can see, these guys have done a wonderful job in the modeling. I mean, they, you can't get 
any better than that. It abs absolutely stunning visuals. So to go over some of the features, the first one is you got the headset for reduced cabin noise, and you can operate that in in and out of the tablet. Um, the tablet also has you helps you monitor temperature as well as blood oxygen content, um, hypoxia, and uh, lack of oxygen effects are modeled in the airplane, even if you have them turned off in X plane. So anything above 10,000 feet, you would want to turn on the onboard oxygen here, and all it is is a flip of a switch. You can control your interior lights. Here you can have an aviation flashlight, lots of other options that link to their Discord channel. Maintenance, it does keep track of engine oil, spark plugs, tires, brakes, lights and you can do a complete check here it also models bird strikes now they say it's rare that you get a bird strike um, you can use this bird watch thing and it'll tell you if birds are reported within the vicinity now i've flown this plane for less than a week and i've had two bird strikes so i don't know how rare it is and i will put some pictures of the what the plane looks like after it smashes a bird. You got this weather tool that if you have a flight plan plug, plugged in, it'll tell you destination weather, um, nearest airport, airport you're at. Um, makes it pretty handy for online flying. You can have your your METAR information right there. Quick comms. It allows you, um, again, if you're flying online, you can search for any of these frequencies and hit the active or standby once the once the plane started and everything and it will change frequencies for you as well um, core flight is where you load any like sim brief flight plans or anything you've saved in the FMS folder this thing. weather maps if you have active sky for X plane um, it also works there Avitab um, and this is awesome. If you're bored in cruise, you can play Pong. Like, how cool is that? No other airplane in the X-Plane universe allows you to play Pong. Game over. Your score 100. All right. Um, this email thing here tells you if uh, there are any hot fixes or updates. Like it says here, Captain uh, version 1.03 is now available with a great new FMOD sounds and reworked fuselage. Note that some old repaints may look wrong and must be adjusted for this version. I have updated that version, so I don't know if this message um, goes away or not. Usually if there's a new one, you'll get that little, um, almost like the Gmail alert where you have the red one there. So that is the tablet, um, and you can remove it if you don't like it. You can set it down in the seat. Now, the G1000 works just like any other G1000. Pretty much every feature I have tried to use is modeled in the settings on the tablet you can change some of the defaults like how you want your um, barometric pressure readouts things like that I use inches of mercury you can change all these user fields to give you um, GPS or VOR information flight plan information um, programs to the approach and all of that is modeled correctly and then you have your keypad down here now, one thing that I really like um, unlike some of the other G1000s is this one has kind of a predictive um, you type in part of the waypoint and it does a 
much better job of predicting what you're trying to put in there. For example, um, we go flight plan, Duluth. All right, so P, Y, K, L, A is the final approach fix for the ILS. And as you can see, it brings it right up in the list here, gives you six miles. Now, I'm not sure why there's two of them, but uh, either way, you would just uh, select enter there. And you can append it to the end of the flight plan, direct to insert after active waypoint, um, or select a position in the active flight plan. And then you just hit enter, and there you go. It puts it right there. Starting the aircraft is a little different. You have to go down here and get the key. And being a puts it in the ignition slot there. All of the SciTech controllers and uh, the key on the honeycomb yoke work also, but you still need to put the key in the ignition. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and start it up. So we want our mixtures full. We want to put fuel on an active tank. Make sure the beacon light is on. Uh, nobody's around the prop. Crack the throttle. One thing you want to make sure is you don't have a prop axis assigned on this plane because it's all automatic. So if you have a prop axis on this plane, it uh, really screws the engine up. All right, once the throttle's cracked, we want to put the fuel pump here on prime. And easy as that, it's started. Now after it runs a little bit, your oil temp warning will go away, and obviously when you take off your parking brake, that uh, alert will go away as well. Alright, 1700 RPMs, left mag. Dropping RPMs back to both, comes back up. Right mag, dropping RPMs, comes back up. Carb heat. Same thing. Alright. Brakes are good. F instruments are free and correct. Flight controls are free and correct. Instruments are correct. Well, let's go flying. Duluth traffic Cessna or Cirrus SR22 on the roll runway 27 remaining in the pattern. Go ahead and better right rudder here. Airspeed. And there's 90 knots off the ground. Push the nose down and get a little airspeed. Duluth traffic, Cirrus SR-22, downwind runway 27, full stop, Duluth.
turn and now we'll turn base. Watch that wind throw us around some more. Duluth INTL Information November 1900 Zulu Weather Wind Shear Alert Wind 310 at 12 gust 26 Visibility more than 10 Rain Sky conditions 2000 few 4000 overcast Temperature 14 2.10 Altimeter 2956 Arriving runway 27 Departing runway 27 Advise on initial contact, you have November. All right, we have updated information November. Nothing really changed, just the identifier. good day for a demo flight. We will probably have to come out and do another flight to really demonstrate the proficiency of the airplane and not the pilot. Lose traffic, Cirrus SR-22, final runway 27. Pull the throttle back all the way, we get a manifold pressure warning. Not the best, but we'll take it. All right, so I didn't really get a chance to demonstrate the ILS because the wind shear was enough to kick off the autopilot. So we flew that by hand with just using the instruments as a visual. But Rest assured, the autopilot will fly the approach for you. I hope you all have enjoyed this video and this look at these beautiful Hold My Beer SR22 G6. Be sure to check out their website. I will put a link in the description to where you can go download this plane and fly it for yourself. It is available for Windows only right now. I don't know if they're going to put it out for Mac users, but uh, it is definitely worth, worth the time to download. Uh, quick pro tip, I use the mirror server when downloading. It's a whole lot faster. Duluth traffic, Cirrus SR22, clear runway 27, going to parking, Duluth. As always, parking brake set. All right, engines off. Switches here. All switches are off. And fuel to cut off.